Okay, I think I may have found my audio problem. It seemed it wanted me to slide a bar, but we'll test it. So, we're on to the southwest. Which again is the venting area that Dutch is interested in. Find that interesting down in Baja, California. But those returns in Nevada and across the border in California Behavior changes with that beam right there. And that's why I'm wondering if there are volcanoes venting, if it isn't assisted with human intervention. Pretty soon, we're up to July 29th, so pretty soon now, boom, pretty soon now we'll see San Diego and I think San Francisco too start to light up. And again, there's beams coming out to proceed the circular nature. Man, that just dances. July 31. And a lot of those jumps were so I could try to make a video. I hate to do it. point if I don't save it to a video it gets wiped out at the other end because the new ones coming in push the oldest ones out look at that pretty half circle and of course it's a very colorful circle in reflectivity and, and um, velocity. So we're just about done with that one. And now we have day and night or visible. It starts on July 13th, 14th. That's the band of late night. I'm really hoping people can come in and read the date and the time and that I can put up the minimum resolution required for people to extract that data. I also want them to, all of us, to be able to vector where those beams would end up if you continue drawing a circle. There's a lot of water in that desert. Twenty-eighth of July.
links I'll be putting into the description of this program. It's fabulously useful. It's not completely cheap, but it's conceivable that we could finagle a volume discount if I get a lot of people to request it and or everyone comes and says Vincent sent me. And I'm not looking for anything for myself. But it supports the developer who's a professional and it supports a ham radio club and they're already selling it at a bare bones price. So I don't begrudge them their money, but I want to fix it too. I want to suck it into a relational database. These, for instance, I have set up so that I have 1,800 images, which I bring in every five minutes. It would be nice if I could store them and look at all of the images at a given point in time instead of coming sequentially through the same image over a duration of time. I'd also like to be able to classify them as cosmic bullets, energy beams. interstation communication.